All right, you should definitely know how to make broccoli, spaghetti, garlic, and oil. It is sort of like the next thing after just an aglio olio, which would just be garlic and oil, which is also delicious. But these are fast dishes. So the first thing you gotta do is get the water boiling, okay? I have eh, two and a bit quarts of water for a pound, half a pound of pasta, and that's plenty. Get that on, that's the first thing. The next thing is the garlic. Okay, got my three cloves right here. I'm gonna start getting on them. All right, there's the garlic. I'm, I'm actually gonna do a little more broccoli today because I'm, I'm feeling healthy. And also, the broccoli is delicious. And also, when you use more broccoli, uh, you tend to use less spaghetti, which is good. If you eat pasta every day, I eat pasta every day. Okay, take note, broccoli. You're trying to get pieces to be, it, it doesn't have to be rocket science here, okay? But see how I split these? so that they are kind of like, you know, if there's, well, this one probably could have been split, but you know, there are some small ones like this and I split these so that these are kind of the same and they cook at similar times and that's what you're going for here. And the good news is, look, the water's still not boiling. This is what's great about this dish. This is all of the prep work with a knife done. Start heating up this pan just a little bit, nothing too crazy, but just get it warm. Reason being, this dish is all about the smallest little things done the best they can be so that the whole thing is the best. And the smallest little thing that you can do right now is heat the oil for the smallest amount of time possible. Meaning, if the pan's hot and you put the oil in and then the garlic, it is faster. It's breaking down less, you get more of the flavor. Then if you start with an ice cold pan, put the oil and the garlic in and bring it all up. Does that make sense? Good. Oh, how much? the right amount, as the Italian grandmas say. So just enough, and you can see that's pretty hot, right? Oh, I need another. So the right amount of oil is the amount that pretty much fully submerges what you've done when you angle, when you angleize it. Wow, I did not cut that very well. First day, first day back from vacation, that's what happens. Okay, so pay attention here. And if you've done this right, this will just start to be boiling, okay? I really recommend salt in kosher form so you can pick it up. By the way, this is a great time to get some salt. Come on, make it happen, boys. There we go. So you're looking for just a little bit of color. Nothing too insane. Now's also a great time to add a little hot pepper because this is the hottest the pan is ever gonna be. Once we start adding water and broccoli and everything, it's gonna drop down to boi boiling temperatures. I know this seems like a lot of information. But this is what, the, this is what separates the, the men from the boys, okay? That's looking nice, and now what I'll do is I'll just add, this could be water. See how it drops the temperature down to boiling really quick? Lee? And the idea is just to drop the pan temperature. And you definitely wanna do that away from you because it gets splitter splattery. Again, this could be water if you're under 21. Although I keep a bottle of white wine in my fridge with a screw top specifically for cooking. It really makes a wonderful difference. Okay, very important. Check it out. I've added the broccoli. The pan is off because this really only needs three minutes to cook. This is boiling, that's great. But what should you do in the meantime? You should, you should clean this. Do this. This is how you keep a neat station and at the end there's not like a bunch of shit everywhere. It's because you're gonna do it now because it's the perfect time. Put the water to your desired saltiness. I know that a handful and two quarts with this brand of salt is the right amount. Um, what is the right amount for you? Depends on the brand of salt, uh, depends on the size of your pot, depends on how much water, but you can go in with a spoon and, and taste it and uh, you know, it should taste like something. It shouldn't really be like the ocean even though I say that. Um, but it should taste like something. And that is how you're gonna get flavor to the inside of the noodle. All right, I'm just going with half a box of DiCecco. They say 10 minutes, I say eight. Because you can always do more, but you can't take it away. All right, pasta goes in, watch this, this is pretty cool. You can come in with really any kind of spoon and just bend them in if the pot is too small. That is what I do. And then in just 30 seconds or so, it will have softened enough where you can stir the whole thing up. The key to not making the pasta stick is rapidly boiling water and enough water. Do not put olive oil in here. It's a waste of olive oil, truthfully. Okay, so that's nice. Alexa, set a timer for eight minutes. Starting 
doing now. Okay, this is boiling nicely. You can see, you can give it a little stir. This is how you prevent sticking. Keep it moving around really nice. So, okay, don't be sorry, be quiet. That's what Mel Brooks says. It's a joke, people. All right, in the meantime, I have gotten out my tongs. I have my olive oil for finishing ready. I have more red pepper for ready. I have the salt ready. I got my two plates and I cleaned my cutting board, dried it and put it back. This is how you stay store organized in the kitchen. You have two minutes to do that while this is happening. Perfect time to do it. That's what you should do. Okay, uh, we have about five minutes left in the pasta. I'm going to return the broccoli to the heat. Okay, you can hear it making a sound already. I'm gonna take my brand new ladle. Thank you, Lizzie. And I'm going to take the pasta water and pour it on top of the broccoli and try to like steam it out even though this doesn't really fit. Just a little bit, it's fine. And that's how we'll cook through. The water's important. If you don't have the water in there, uh, the oil is going to get back up to 350, 400 degrees, you're gonna burn your garlic. But when you have the water in there, it can't get above 212. And that's how you get the brown garlic that then turns a little bit soft because we're softening it right now. And you can even play like a little game where, listen, you can always add more water, guys. It just, you know, it just boils off. So you can, you can already see the vibrancy of the broccoli from the steam. Pretty gorgeous. Details, 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 details. Okay, very nice. So that had like a two minute steam and now what I'm trying to do is get the water off because I want to re-intensify and concentrate all that oil which doesn't evaporate. Um, and I will finish it with more oil because cooked oil and raw oil are two different flavors. But I always like to start a little bit light. So you can see there's not a whole lot of water in there and also, by undercooking the pasta by two minutes, when I throw it in here, that water will be absorbed by the pasta, which is a broccoli, salty, garlic flavored water, which is more exciting than that pasta water, which is just water and salt. Do you see? It's the little things. Now listen up here. When, when this is looking good, like I think that looks good right now, the pasta's not quite ready. So what do you do? You just take it off the heat. Just pause, press pause. Okay. So that means, Take your tongs. Alexa, stop. And now you start, this is hard to do with one hand, but you start playing this game right here. This is the game that you're playing now. So the box says 12 to 10 minutes. I'm cooking it for eight because I really think that the marriage between the sauce, if you can call this a sauce, and the pasta is, is very important. That last little bit of liquid penetration into the pasta is now flavored rather than not. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, so we'll kill this power. This guy comes back here, and now we're just gonna start tossing this a little bit. And we're also going to come in now with more olive oil. So I think the fresh fruity stuff that's just heated by the pan here, this is probably, oh, I don't know, a third of, maybe a, maybe a quarter cup of oil. And so this just starts happening. And you can also say, you know what? I want a little red pepper. Whoop. So you can, you can do that too. So now you've got cooked red pepper, you know, that's really been cooked and also the other stuff. So, so do your best here. Oh, this is impossible to do with a phone in my hand. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. Let it happen. <laughs> Hashtag fail. Hashtag not at all. Don't worry about it. Really good. Hashtag gonna... pick that up. I, I know it's burning to the cooktop. This is why we use induction. Last Save less, every last soldier. All right, at this point, you wanna look and you wanna see, is this, is it like liquidious enough? And, and you are going to make it the right amount of liquid by either adding more olive oil. There is the right amount, too much That's can exist. Parallel. It should be liquidiousness. Okay, or a, uh, another ladle full of the pasta water here. You can always add a little bit of that in. That's nice. Um, I think a balance between the water and the oil gives you this really nice velvetiness that isn't too oily. And so it's really hard to just tell you what the right amount is because it's a feel thing and it's a look thing and it's a personal preference thing. Um, but I think I've given you a lot of steps so that you can succeed. And this is not something that you're gonna do wonderfully the first time, it's gonna be okay. But after you make it like 250 times, it's gonna be exquisite. And people are gonna be like, why can't I do that the first time? And the answer is because you know all these little steps on how to make it 
Perfect. So I'm gonna plate it now. All right, there they are, hot and steamy. Can you see the steam? Well, technically it's fog. Here's another uh, fun trick. You can take your pasta water and you can clean your pot with it. That's an old Italian grandma way of doing things. I don't know what that is because I did not put any cheese. You, you could do it, I'd recommend against it. You really want, is that cheese? Oh, you're so blasphemous. Okay, if you, I want you, to, I want you to try it without the cheese, because this is supposed to be an oil-based dish, and in Italy there are rules, and you can be arrested if you use cheese on oil or fish in pasta. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, yes. Um, anyway, enjoy. I hope this is helpful. It's delicious. It's perfectly al dente because it cooks it under. The flavor inside of the pasta noodle is wonderful because we, the, the water was salty. Also because it was finished in that beautiful garlicky oil broccoli sauce. Uh, the flowerets themselves cooked very minimally. A little bit of steam. Remember there was a little bit of white wine in there. I've got really nice garlic from the farmer's market. High quality olive oil that is so unnecessarily from a tree that someone donated to me. But it makes it taste better. These things matter. And hot pepper that I love. I've gone through a lot of hot peppers. You'd think that, you'd think <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Heather just took her plate away. She doesn't want to wait. Eh, buon appetito. I hope that's helpful. Okay, bye. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ah. And there's cheese on it. Well, there's cheese on yours, which is still illegal in like 15 states in the Union. Um, this is wonderful. The greatness comes from the few ingredients being the best they can be, prepared the best that you can prepare them, which does take a little bit of practice, but I'm trying to give you as much information as I can. You can do it. Oh, shit, I put cheese on it. You're not supposed to do that. So, Heather put anchovy in hers. I think it's a little bit of an odd decision to put it at the end. If you're gonna put it, put it at the beginning. Cook it with that oil. Let it dissolve into there. Let it be that umami flavor. And you can see like there's no oil really left behind. The plate is, it's got a sheen, but if you do it right, the pasta and the broccoli absorb all of it. That is part of the balance.